Mastering the use of bad and badly when describing emotions. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of adjectives and adverbs, specifically focusing on bad and badly. These two words often create confusion when used in various contexts, especially when we are describing emotional states. So, let's conquer these terms together. Bad and badly are often used interchangeably, but they serve different grammatical roles. Bad is an adjective, and it's used to modify nouns and pronouns. On the other hand, badly is an adverb and is used to modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. Example 1. She felt bad about forgetting her friend's birthday. Here, bad modifies the pronoun she. 2. He performed badly on the test. In this case, badly modifies the verb performed. When we're expressing how someone feels or felt, it's common to use bad instead of badly. This is because feel can be used as a linking verb. Linking verbs connect the subject of the verb to additional information about the subject. When used as a linking verb, feel is not an action but a state of being. So we use the adjective form bad instead of the adverb badly. Example 1. I feel bad for being late to the meeting. 2. She felt bad when she lost her friend's book. Remember, using badly in these instances is incorrect because it would mean that someone is doing a poor job of feeling, which doesn't make sense. Like many rules in English, there are exceptions. When feel is used as an action verb to mean to touch with the hands or to explore through the sense of touch, we use badly. This is because, in these contexts, feel is not a state of being but an action, which requires an adverb, badly, to modify it. Example 1. If your hands are numb, you might feel badly, meaning you have a poor sense of touch. However, these examples are less common, especially when talking about emotional states. And that wraps up our lesson on using bad and badly when describing emotional states. I hope this makes the difference between bad and badly much clearer to you. Remember, bad is usually the correct word when expressing feelings or emotions. Keep practicing and you'll master these in no time. Until our next lesson, happy learning.